guys, Fubbly here today, and welcome back to Cities Skylines. So, uh, gonna keep an eye on traffic here in Plastic Bag District. Uh, now, we originally didn't bother building a subway out here, or the train line for that matter. What we actually did was add a bus line that went from this train station to this district, which uh, was adequate when it was just that area. But now that we've tacked on all of that, I think we're gonna need to add... Uh, some trains or either the subway sort of extending to this area because the amount of traffic and people trying to get in is pretty bad um, and it is backing up quite badly but first uh, let's go over to Lafayette oil fields and fix up this one because uh, this is also a problem uh, it was suggested that I should just change this to a single lane road because then what that does is it Anyone that's trying to turn right will go in that right-hand lane. Anyone that's going left will make sure they always go in the left-hand lane. So that should uh, hopefully split up the flow of traffic a little bit better. Uh, we will still see some people using that lane to go straight across, but that's because uh, they have not updated their pathfinding yet. But that should help us to ease the sort of traffic flow uh, into either lane here instead of just everyone trying to go into one lane and getting stuck. Now, as for the rest of this... Uh, I don't know what to do about that. Um, I'd only figured out that part. Uh, well, that goes forward. There's one that goes left. And I think that's actually a problem. Because people trying to go straight are always going to have to sort of be in that right-hand lane. So I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, see, this guy wasn't going to the train station. He's just going straight across. I, I was going to say, I wouldn't be surprised if there's some people just going straight. Uh, and they have to, and they get stuck in this queue uh, as well for the cargo train station, which is uh, not ideal. Um, I guess what I should do is, uh, there's not really any room to move it though is the problem. I was going to say I should move it, but there's no room. I mean, obviously I could put it back there somewhere, but that's not really what I want to do. I, let's. What if we go like this, upgrade this to a one way, but flip it. So they have to... And go like that. Okay. Don't know if that helps, although it just seems that everyone's using that one now. I was hoping that people would start using this left-hand lane. Uh, oh, is that not a... Is this not a... Oh, this is not a one-way road here. I just realized that. Is that going the wrong way? Yep. Sorry. Okay. Uh, so I'm hoping that they now jump in that left lane if they're trying to go left at all times. Uh, they should hope... So people trying to go forward, I'm hoping will... Actually, just jump in that left lane and go straight along. Hopefully. Otherwise, I don't know. But, I don't know. I guess we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. I think that made a little bit of a difference, but we have to let it run for a little while to see what happens. Now, over here, obviously, we are having a pretty big problem trying to get people into the area. Uh, most of them, it seems like they're coming straight across and just getting stuck. Uh, so, the guys going straight can't get into the district. And it seems that they're all... Where are they all going? So there's just a single line of traffic here, which means I guess they're going forward. Uh, eventually when they get their turn. Oh no, they're turning left, are they? Oh, they are turning left. So maybe if we give them an alternate route uh, over here for traffic to flow on. Now this may be a bad idea. Uh, we shall find out. Uh, no, no, I want to build a road... There. Really? That won't connect? It has to go there? Alright. It's gonna go there then. Okay, so this is gonna go... Oh, are those all incinerators? And oh, that's a park, isn't it? So this is gonna have to actually go all the way over like this. Now, I don't know if this is, anyone's actually gonna use it. And there's a park in the way. Of course. Of course there's a park in the way. Now, this is gonna go all the way over to there. Let's see if anyone uses that road at all. Because that would uh, be good to see people using that. I'm actually going to remove traffic lights on that one. I don't think we need them. Unless we get lots of traffic trying to use it. Well, there's people using it to come out that way. Uh, which is good. But let's see if people use it to shortcut. We'll just have to wait for some of this traffic to, uh, to clear. Um, yeah, it's, it's everyone trying to turn into this, this district area. They need more ways to get there. Maybe if I move this hospital... Onto that road. Uh, and then we give them another road here. Now this might also be a bad idea because nobody's using that one. But what if we give them a road here? Move that incineration plant because that's in my way. Then this will just go straight down to there. So now they can use that road as well. 
That'll be good. Oh, that has no water. Oopsie daisies. There you go. Uh, why is there a power line there? Is that actually useful? Uh, I guess so. Uh, we do have power lines over there as well. Oh, those are full. Uh, I guess we can move that back now. It does not need to be quite there. Uh, let me just adjust it to there. Let me find. Alright, so we have no one using these roads. Uh, I'm going to actually turn off traffic lights there and there as well. I don't want them on either of those intersections. I want this to sort of just be uh, a continually flowing road. And hopefully these are some shortcut roads if they want to use them. What I'm actually also going to use these for is because we, we do actually have uh, some residential demand. Can this actually... It has to do that. Okay, well it has to do that then. Yeah, so we have uh, industrial demand and uh, commercial. So we might use this space here. I'm gonna make that commercial. I'm gonna make neither of those commercial. I might do some commercial here by the hospital. Because it's not always nice having a hospital next to an industrial park. I recognize that. And uh, we'll give them a little bit of a buffer zone. How <laughs> about that? Okay, there we go. Get some industrial all in there. If I could click properly, there we go. And there. Good. Uh, that should make them happy. We also want a little bit more residential. Now, as to where I want to do that, because I think... Oh, actually, something else I wanted to do. I noticed we had a little bit of traffic building up at this exit here. Uh, and I was thinking we could very easily just do a little connection to these roads on the side. Because uh, there are there are a few people that want to go to these, but... I don't know if we can actually squeeze one in. Maybe if we go... Like... This... No. Like this... <laughs> Hang on. Like, it's not even on a curvy road. Like this. There we go. Okay, so that, that can go there. That's an interesting little curve we've got going on. Uh, and then if we could get this one to actually just connect to there, that'd work, right? Of course, that would be too easy. What is that intersecting with? It's all floating. There's nothing there. Um, okay, well, what about this? What about this? What about... Because oh. I, I imagine some of these guys are going to go there too, you know? Unless this can just go under. Uh, I don't think it can. Okay, let me just... <laughs> we could even just leave that one there. Uh, no, let me just do... Let's build this bit first. Or not at all, apparently. Oh, see, that's too far away now. Yeah, let me build it backwards. Backwards is always the answer. Um, there, and then, are you serious? <sighs> no, 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 just, okay, so it has to go there, apparently, which doesn't leave us a lot of room on this side, so let's remove that. Let's also reverse that before we forget. Uh, that's fine. Okay, now this one needs to have this bit. And then, I guess that one here did it. And that destroyed a building. Good. Uh, now this needs to join onto that somewhere. That goes up and pulls the land with it, and it makes an interesting ramp. Good. Uh, all right. There you go. So now that gives them the option. Oh, look there! You see, you can see they want to go. They want to go the quick way to that area. So that will uh, service this little residential area quite nicely, hopefully, and uh, take a little bit of strain off that uh, intersection there. Good. Uh, as for more residential, I guess we could go out to Silicon Hilly. We haven't been here in a while. We've even, even got buses running all around here and nobody living here. So <laughs> I think it's probably a good idea that we uh, get some houses out this way. Uh, I guess we'll go down this little road here. I will check their services and land value in a second as well. Because I want it to be a nice place to live, you know. Uh, all down here. I don't really want one tile houses. So I'm going to skip some of those small spots. Go there. Um, we might be able to put some small parks in there. Let's see, one by three park. Now, nah, see, it doesn't. It doesn't like it. it likes its only three by three park. Oh, anyways, let's um get those guys in, and then let's have a look at. Well, actually, we don't know the land value till they move in. Uh, but we do need to have a look at this kind of stuff. So a little, we could use a little clinic anywhere on this sort of main road. Yeah, like anywhere, <laughs> not on the residential roads. I don't want on those. I want on this like main road. Nope, not gonna happen. Uh, how about a little crematorium? Nope. 
it's just not gonna happen. Well, we can get one there. That'll be fine. Okay, can we get a little clinic there? Oh, we can. Yeah, that'll be fine too. Little fire department. We need one of those. Can that go here? Oh, that can go there as well. Uh, that doesn't actually help us though. Oh, yes, it does. There it goes. Okay. So hopefully they start moving in here now. Um, and there. They can move in there. We'll get some. Sm we'll get some small houses in. A little bit of commercial. Not sure why nobody wants to live here though. What's wrong with that spot? It's really good. You get like fantastic views of the city. Look at that! That's awesome! Come on, there's like residential demand and everything. You're in the district? Yeah, you're in the district. Build here, guys. Come on. Got this awesome area for you guys to live in. Even got buses running down here. For some reason. <laughs> uh, oh, someone building commercial. Nobody else wants to build there, though. Uh, well, we'll leave that area to eventually develop, because it will eventually. Now, we could do... Smallville. <laughs> Hashtag scub at conflict nerd classic. Uh, great. I think we could do a district over here somewhere, maybe. And do like uh, more suburban areas out that way. Oh, I. No. I want to branch out this way, I think. Let's go. Let's, let's branch out this way. Okay, let's um, remove this interchange. Because what we're going to do, we're going we're gonna to mix it up a little bit. So this road is now going to bridge over the highway. We're also going to have to adjust that train line. And I will try and remember to put the train line back in this time around. Uh, so we're going to adjust the train line. Now uh, we are going to split the road. <laughs> it's pretty controversial. Um, hang on, let me... Snapping off. Like that. And like... That we don't need to do this, but I thought it could be an interesting idea to see how it goes. All right, so that's in the out. Uh, it's gonna basically remain the same road, but it's just gonna. Oh, you tell me we don't have enough room to do this. Well, that uh, puts a damper in the entire plan. Uh, <laughs> not supposed to bridge over that area. We don't have enough room to do that though, so we'll have to take that back a bit. Uh, all right, let's uh, build the road again. How does it not fit in? Right? Like, I don't understand. Go there to... There, and then... No, it doesn't fit. <laughs> so we're going to have to do this, and it's going to just destroy half the buildings. Oh, there we go. Okay, that'll do. Right. Uh, split the road again. Now, splitting the road may not be the best idea in the world, but uh, we'll see how we go. So I split it there, and I'm trying to get somewhat symmetrical kind of angles going on here. And then this goes straight out and up. Or not, because now apparently space is already occupied. Fantastic. How is that too steep as well? Is that slope is too steep? Slope too steep. At least that slope's not too steep. How is that slope too steep? Alright, let's just go to plan A. Uh, that was... Well, actually, that was plan A. Let's go to plan B, because plan A sucks, apparently. So let's not do that. <laughs> yep, yeah, well, well, that works, so... I just wanted to do an interesting, like, bridge over the highway, you know? Why is that so difficult? I actually want to change that, though. Because I want to try and bridge it a little bit earlier. Uh, i go a little bit further than that. There we go. And the power line's are removed. Yeah, I want to go a little bit further, because we need to fit the train line under there as well. So... Along with the power line, which can hopefully go back. No, we have to go up. Uh, hang on. There and then there. Good. Uh, let's get the train line back in now before we forget. We also got to leave room for entrance and exit for the highway because we're going to be using this bridge for that. So let's just go out, swing it out a little bit. Hopefully we can fit under there somewhere. Where's the... Uh, okay, the thing is there. So if we just go like that. Hopefully there should be enough room there. Let us see how we go. So what we're going to do is have an entrance, not there. Okay, let's do this side first. So we're going to have an entrance here. I don't like how much it curves it. It looks weird. Let's just go straight down and then curve it in there. Okay. Then let's go roughly the same distance down this way. Uh, maybe about there. Okay, that train line's going to be annoying because it's going to keep snapping to it. So let's go about there. 
to there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like that. Okay, uh, and then we'll do the same thing on this side. So I don't want it to snap to that point. I want it to go there. But it can't. Alrighty. Let's just destroy that part of the road. I wish you could uh, keep the... Um, hopefully that lets me build there now. Yeah, good. I wish I, I wish I'd let you keep this sort of median strip in there because I don't want them to be able to cross across the road. I essentially want them to only be able to turn uh, or enter from this side, and you know, just so we don't have any traffic lights there. Uh, that's the idea. But then I guess we might not get much traffic to start off with, so we might not even worry about that really. Uh, I guess we'll just join this one. Hang on, no, let's go. Keep going flat and then just join onto there. That'll be fine. I guess we don't really need an entrance there, but I'm going to keep it though because that will, uh, I guess, ease some of the traffic flow. So that should be fine. Okay, and then this will come out and it just goes straight up. Good. All right, that's what I wanted to do. Just have a sort of standard kind of entrance exit and have our road continuing across to the other side. Now let's remove the traffic lights. And what I wanted to do, as I was mentioning, is prevent these guys from turning left and going straight on because that'd be kind of dumb. So they can only turn right, uh, which is what I want them to be able to do. Uh, these guys, no, those guys are fine. These guys, I don't want to be able to turn left. And I don't want them to be able to turn left there. So they can only go straight. That's good. Uh, yeah. And then I don't want these, this is getting confusing. I don't want these guys to be able to turn left. Or go straight. They can only go right, that's fine. Uh, and then this lane. I don't think I need to do anything with that. No, that's fine. Okay, so that should prevent any traffic crossing the flow of traffic. They should always stay on their side of the road. Is what I'm going for here. Now, where this actually becomes kind of a problem is if someone is driving this side and they want to enter the highway going that way, which they currently can't do. What I'm thinking is if we can try and build like an entrance somewhere that comes off to the right and like loop it around, that would be good. Maybe even extend these ones a little bit, so have them up higher a little bit longer. Hang on, turn off snapping. To about there, then go down. Then we could bring it off. Uh, and then, oh, actually, if we go around that, and then go under. Oh, the train line's going to be in the way. Oh, that's fine. We'll, we'll fix the train line afterwards. Might actually bring the train line over, just to prevent any problems arising. Because it's going to get in the way. Uh, I'm going to have to adjust this road a little bit too. It's going to have to bridge a little bit longer. Actually, you know what would have been cool and what I should have done? Is use a terraforming one to sink the highway and keep this road flat. I want to do that. I totally want to do that. Because I keep seeing pictures of people posting that on the subreddit and it looks awesome. So let's try it. Um, okay, so can I make this bigger? No, I can't. Okay, but let's see. So we want to go down to there. Yeah, that should be deep enough. Then we want to flatten it, or is that flatten? Is that flatten? Is that flatten? Okay, yeah, then that's fine. So it's right-click to choose the depth, <laughs> to choose the height you want to go to, and then you, you build it. Let's make this a little bit wider, so it's going to go trace up this way a little bit. It is costing an absolute bomb to do this, but I think it's going to be cool. So that will come down this way, all the way up to there. That should give us plenty of room. Uh, we might need a little bit more side either on each side of this. Might actually extend this a little bit out so we get plenty of room for it. Good thing we have tons of money, otherwise this would be a problem. Okay, so this now will be where the highway goes. It will sink, will sink down the highway. I would like to make it a little bit smoother, so we might actually, like the actual transition, have a like, nice smooth slope. Now, I believe one of these creates a ramp, so you go like there to there or something. Or you just do that, apparently. Okay, that works. Yeah, that's nice and smooth. Uh, let's move some of this out of the way. Let's do a similar thing here. I don't know if clicking actually helped, so I'm going to do it again. Nope. Oh, there we go. That's better. Now, this side might be a little bit rough, but we'll see how we go. Okay, let's build the highway back in. Um, so, this is going to go straight down. Uh, let's actually turn snapping on. It's going to go straight down to there. And then a little bit of a curve 
to reconnect with its highway brethren. That's not quite right. <laughs> Let's go back a little bit. Uh, nope. No, that curve is definitely not right. I thought I used this one down here. Obviously not. Also, most of this should probably have sound barriers on it. Uh, that curve is still not right. So let's actually just take it all the way back to there and redo it. Because if, if we're spending all this money to uh, sink the highway, I would like the curves to be correct. I would like to... Oh! What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Remove all traffic lights. Add all traffic lights. Reset to default. Huh. Alright, go away. Did not know they... Uh, obviously updated it again. Uh, that guy loves to update his mod, that's for sure. Uh, I guess we'll leave a little bit of room in between the highway there. Okay, so that should now... pretty Yeah, that's pretty smooth. That pr smoothly sort of lowers. Then, hopefully, this will allow us to build a road going straight across. Uh, we will actually have to page it up a little bit. Oh, look at that. It's perfectly flat. That is, that is absolutely ideal. And obviously flat again. Straight through. Oh, you beauty. So that, that means this road remains flat. I mean, it's a little bit bumpy, but as flat as, you know, reasonably possible with my rudimentary uh, terraforming skills. Uh, let's just adjust this power line as well. Because that does not need to be that high anymore. Now, as for the train line, um, we may... No, let's not worry. Let's figure out the train line bit after we've done the rest of this. Now, let's rebuild what we had. So I guess we're going to go... Let's go out enough so we can do that curvy thing I was talking about. That will go down. No, see this needs to go further. It used to join up down there, didn't it? Don't know if I've got enough space to do this. Let's do this one. Um, let's go out a little bit so we can do that little curve thing. Uh, that's not right. At all. Uh, <laughs> okay, this is harder than I thought. Uh, okay, wait, let's just do the original Simple plan to start off with, shall we? Like the normal highway entrance kind of thing. That does make it very bumpy though. Which is unfortunate. Uh, then we'll just build this one backwards, or not, because that's going to intersect. This is not joining where I want it to. I want it to be here, but it keeps snapping onto that point for some reason. Let's try that again. If we... Go to... Well, hang on. Let's just go floating. That might actually solve a few problems here. Okay, you go away. You come in. I'm going to go up. Now, this is actually floating, so... Okay, no, it still does that, though. Why does that go down? Oh, because that's going up. Why is that... It should not be raising up. Uh, I think if we go... Okay, so I can like move the mouse for some reason and it d like changes the height. Okay. Can't tell what I'm doing. That can go to there. Okay. Uh, right. Let's uh, turn columns back on or pillars back on. That's better on this side. That's still not ideal on this side, but it's better than before. So we will... Oh, actually that's the exit. Let's do this one first. Okay, let's try the entrance again. Uh, let's go about there, and then down, and then or not. Go away, train line. I think we need to lower some more of this down. It's, it's, we need a little bit more space here. So let's uh, do that now. Okay, right click down there somewhere. So we can get a little bit more space. There we go. Good as new. Click there, click there. I think you just click and drag to be perfectly honest. I don't know. I'm doing two clicks just to be sure. Okay. Right. Uh, now let's build the highway back. This is a very complicated process uh, that I have not practiced prior to this. It's just a spur of the moment decision. And I think it's going to be either a very wise one or a very misguided one. Which is the, the one we're doing right now? I don't know. We'll find out later. Find out after the break. Welcome back. If I put a mid-roll ad there, that would have been perfect. And if I didn't, then, well, it was a funny joke. Uh, good. <laughs> okay, so that goes to there. Now, this one needs to come out a little bit so we can do... 
No, see that I don't like the angle that's coming out there. Let's go to there. I'll try to get rid of that because that's kind of in the way. And then it goes down to there. We can still have an entrance from here because I think it'd still be useful. Not there. Uh, we might be able to connect it. No, not really. I mean, we can, but it's not ideal. And I think it messes with the highway a little bit. No, it didn't actually. All right, well, we've already destroyed the building, so we might as well follow through with it. Uh, <laughs> we might as well follow through with that crappy entrance. Okay, now this is going to come out like that and go straight up. Good. Now, it looks kind of weird at the moment because that's very steep and that goes out quite a way. But we're going to use that to do what we were doing before. And I'm actually going to make this floating because it might... Oh, no, screw it. Let's try to do it with pillars. Let's try to do it with pillars. Um, now, this needs to go... Oh, actually, maybe we could run it in the middle. We might be able to even get this to go down the middle. Um... Like this, hang on, I'll go straight now. Oh, it's gonna it's gonna be a bit douchey about it. See, it runs perfectly there. Alright, no, we're not gonna go down the middle because it's gonna be way too hard, uh, as it turns out. So let's go here. And then there. Mm. We need more room down the bottom. Need more room either side. Yeah, this is uh very all thought out this plan but uh, anyways bring this down a little bit so there we have now have room to bring a ramp that comes down this side and join onto that one so the whole point of this is so we can keep traffic flowing very very freely along this road but everybody can still get to where they're going um, whether this turns out to be a very reasonable idea or not remains to be seen uh, this can go straight along and that can go, no, not upgrade, sorry, onto there. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. Then we do the same thing on this side. Hopefully we can fit it in. Because uh, what we've done there is actually go to the other side and come, oh, okay. So what we might do is just, we're going to have to remove some of the stuff out of the way because that's, a, oh jeez, that's a sharp turn. Um, because that's actually good, I like that, but we need more room for it. I'm going to have to remove some of these buildings. Probably all of them, really, because I need this space. <laughs> I I need this space. Uh, even though terraforming costs a lot of money, it seems like we haven't spent much. Let's give us a bit more room there. That should be good. Uh, do we need that space? Oh yeah, we need that space to go underneath, so let's clear a little bit of space there. So we can go straight under, come around, and then we can level some more land out there if we have... A little bit left over. That'll be good. So, then what we've got to do is do a similar thing. So we go out. No, we went from the inside, sorry. We went inside, over the highway, around it like this. And then a little bit more of a curve. And hopefully this can actually fit underneath here because it's a little bit steep. Um, no, it can't. Okay, so what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to go a little bit further out. It's not a bad thing. Just need to go a little bit further. Although I want to try and match that curve as much as possible. Just so it's a little bit symmetrical in some way or another. Uh, about there maybe? That's not too bad. Okay, then this should be able to go underneath like that. Yeah, there you go. That's fine. I'm happy with that. And then this can go straight across. Uh, well, I don't know. Hang on. Let's build this ramp first. So this goes down and onto the highway. A little bit bumpy there. I might actually join that a little bit earlier. So we're going to go down and... Let's go down there and then in. That's not too bad. Uh, I'm going to rebuild that because it's a little bit off from where I want it to go. So that's going to go to there and then hopefully join onto that ramp. Nope. Um, maybe if we do it the other way, have this one join to there. It's not ideal, but that works. Uh, we'll have to forfeit the entrance from there, though. There's not really, there's not enough room, and I guess there's no point have one there anyway. So it was just nice. We could, we still have the one further down anyway, so that's okay. Okay, now let's uh, see about this train line. I guess we'll just continue the train line this way. Uh, I think I might actually lower some more ground or land. 
down here for the train line. Just so we have a little bit of consistency. Uh, have it just flow next to the highway quite freely. Good. And then let's go like this. Just see that pathway didn't work now. I swear it, uh, you gotta, hang on. I swear you gotta do the two clicks, right? Left and right. And then drag. Oh, look at that. Pretty sure that's how you use it. I don't know. I was just guessing. But it seemed like that actually made a difference. Okay, let's move the, that out of the way. And let's move that back a little bit. So what we're going to do is now put our train line back in. Uh, oh, yeah. We should probably create a, a train line ramp here, too. So we're going to go from there to there. And then we go like this. Oh, look at that. So smooth. Yeah, that is that is definitely how you use this tool. Probably isn't, but it feels like it is. So I'm going to keep doing it. Okay. <laughs> Let's. Uh, this is all to build a new district to which I haven't even started yet. But, hey. When was this series about speed of construction? Never. That's the answer. Okay, that goes to there. That goes underneath the road. Uh, we can bring this up a little bit. Because it doesn't need to be that far down. So I can bring this in a little bit. Don't need to be that far out. Don't want to waste too much space because we actually don't have too much space on this side. Okay, so that will come across. Hopefully as perfect as... Picture perfect as a pie. I don't know. That was a dumb sentence. Uh, <laughs> I would like it to be a little bit higher though so it is actually level because that's not level to the other side of the road. Hmm. I guess what we could do... No, I was going to say we could drag the height across, but we already have all that stuff down there, so it might mess up a little bit. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter that it's not exactly level. It's still pretty good, though, right? Like, look at that. That is that is a work of art. Let's turn off the traffic lights on those two. And then we've got to set up our lanes the way we wanted it again. So, these guys cannot turn left or go straight. They can only go right. That is fine. Uh, the only problem I see, actually, with this system is that those guys can't turn left. Because we, do, we don't have an issue with people entering, because they can enter both directions thanks to our loop-de-loop -loop lanes. But people can't exit both directions. Hmm. That is a problem I did not consider. Uh, <laughs> that didn't even cross my mind. So if we wanted them to exit the other way, we would have to add a loop-de-loop -loop lane that went over to the other side, but I don't have room for that now. Hmm. Ah, yeah, that's a... Yeah, that's a, that's a problem. For another day. Okay, let's just keep doing what we're doing. <laughs> now, these guys are fine. Uh, these guys, I don't want you to enter... Well, turn left, I'll go straight. You can only go right. Again, the uh, problem I did not consider <laughs> when designing this system. Good. All right, these guys. Now, you cannot turn left. Uh, you can only go forward. That's fine. Uh, you cannot... These guys going this way cannot turn left. They can only go forward. And that should prevent any traffic crossing lanes. I think that's all I needed to do. Because they can only go right. They can only go forward or right. Okay, okay. They can only go right. These guys can only go forward or right, and then they can only go forward there. Yeah, no, that's right. Okay, that's good. But, yeah, like I said, they can't enter or they can't exit left. <laughs> so if they if these guys want to go over here, they can't. And likewise, these guys, if they want to go left, they cannot. They have to come up here and U-turn somewhere. Which is not ideal. Uh, uh, I definitely want to try and solve it on this intersection, but I don't think I have room. And also, that looks so neat. Like, I mean, it's not precise by any means, but it definitely looks neat the way it is. Like, it somewhat looks like it's planned out a little bit, you know? But if we go ahead and add more roads into it, it will just get messier and messier. Which is a shame, really, because it doesn't look too bad. Uh, let's connect up this power line before I forget. I don't even think we need that power line, because we're actually connected over there, but we will use it. Go out this way a little bit. And then get rid of that bit. Go to there. Uh, now, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to see if we can, if there's an easy way of doing this. Like, if we went under, 
No, we still we still have to cross over and get to that ramp if we want them to exit that way. Um, we could do. No, uh, so we don't want to do an exit. Oh, I guess, what if we did a central off ramp? I don't know if there's enough room for that. If we did a central off ramp, I don't think there's enough room for that. Uh, <laughs> I do not think there's enough room for that, unfortunately, but that... Oh, actually, what if we did this? Slope too steep, space already occupied. No, there's not enough room. There's definitely enough room here. That's for sure. So, what if we went... No, that would look so bad, though. <laughs> that would look so bad. Well, what if we did it this way? So, that can exit there, right? Um... And it'd have to go around this way and join onto that ramp. Which we could totally do, actually, if we go like this. And then... Like this. Well, it's going up on the cliff side for some reason, but we'll go flat. There we go. See, now these guys can, because before they could only exit right, but if they come out this way, they can now go up this ramp and exit right that way. And also, I think that's reset my lanes there, which is kind of annoying. No, it hasn't. It's just reset the arrows on it. If we, if we just disable it and enable it and redo it, there you go. Um, and it's also reset the uh, traffic lights. Uh, yeah, so that's what I want to do over here, but... Uh, well, not quite like that, because that is a little bit... <laughs> it's a little bit off, but... Uh, you know, it's just the way it is. There we go, that's a bit better. Uh, and that, that doesn't look too bad. I mean, that definitely adds an element of spaghetti to it. Definitely adds the spaghetti element. Uh, well, let's try and get some more room in between these highways. Let's go from here. Uh, so let's go like this. Just bring it out a little bit. Even just a little bit. Like, it just needs that extra tiny bit of space to, uh... Oh, see, that just adds that wonk to it that I really don't like. The level of wonk is just too much. Which is a shame, really, but... I think it's going to be for the greater good. The greater wonk. Uh, hang on. Turn off snapping. Why can't I get that back in now? Really? Go away. Build you afterwards. Okay. Uh, and then this needs to come back in again to there and then there. And then we needed a right hand exit lane. Or not. Okay, so let's use a straight right here. There it is. And then this comes around. Slope too steep, apparently, because we're going uphill. Fantastic. This just makes my life that much harder. Uh, okay, we're going to make that ramp above floating and move this one back a little bit so we can actually do this. But I might actually just abort this idea entirely because it might look stupid. Invalid shape. Okay, I'm inventing shapes now. Okay, we're going to have to go a little bit further here. And then, where does this have to join to? Oh, this ramp down here. Which is going to be even harder again because we got that stupid bloody train line in the way. <laughs> this is not ideal. <laughs> I'm not happy with that at all. I'm not happy. See, it really needs to go there. Okay, let's go floating. Oh, it's not even an issue of floating. It's an issue of it's colliding. Use the collide. Oh, see, when you use the collide cheat, then it, all the trees sort of pop up through it. It's kind of annoying. There we go. Oh, don't resume time. Oh, the level of spaghetti, like just adding those two rows in, just makes it look like a mess. Like before, it it looks somewhat organized, but that's just taking it to another level. You know, a really unfortunate level. I didn't want to have to go to. Uh, <laughs> Uh, make sure these are all set as they were. Hang on, let me just click on that one, then over there. Okay, well, that should be set. Oh, train line. Goddamn train line. Every time. 
Uh, let's bring this down. Because we need that space again for the train line. That's also going to have to get out of my way. And we have to terraform a ramp. From, no, 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 from there to there, I guess. I don't know. That's not a ramp. That's just making it flat. Again, that's just making it flat. What are you doing, ramp tool? Rampify me. Good enough. The train line will fix it. <laughs> I don't care. I don't even... It was just supposed to be a good idea. That wouldn't take too long. Well, really, initially, it was just supposed to be a standard... Interchange, and then it sort of got out of hand very quickly. Now I'm just going to keep it up that way a little bit because it doesn't need to curve back in. There's not really any point. Oops. I'll just go straight down like that. Yeah, that's fine. And we'll adjust this as well a little bit. <sighs> it wasn't supposed to end up like this. <laughs> okay. There we go. So that is now in place, and that should work an absolute charm. But we won't know until we actually get some stuff built over there and get some use out of that interchange. And that won't happen until next episode, because we are done. Uh, we spend most of our time this episode building this thing, which, uh, which is pretty cool, because it's kind of sunken, and it should allow constant traffic flow straight on through, uh, because there's no crossing the flow of traffic on any of these inter I mean, you can think about it visually if if the median strip was just there, that's how it's set up. If that if that continued, that's how it's set up. Or that's the idea of it. So that it never crosses and they can sort of just beautifully merge and all that kind of stuff without a problem. And we have people sort of uh, entering onto it. I want to see people use my loop-de-loop -loop ramps or the, the second, or like I said, the spaghetto ramps. These are, these nice curves are the loop-de-loop -loop ramps, which people are definitely using. Um, which is good, because that means they're not using this on-ramp, because the lane control is working. Oh, what do you see someone use my loop-to-loop? -loop? Oh, there he goes. Oh, it's this, sorry, the spaghetto loop. There he goes, he's using it. Which means, again, that they're not, uh, using this lane and turning left, because they can't do that. Which means it is working, and in theory, that should be a very good intersection. In theory. Uh, in practice, we have to wait until we build up some more stuff. <sighs> But until then, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. And have an awesome day.